In today's lesson, we're learning all about the importance of having a growth mindset and how this makes us all better learners. Now, a growth mindset is simply the belief that we can all become more intelligent or better at something by practicing it enough times. For example, let's say that you find a particular science problem really difficult. If you have a growth mindset, then you have the attitude that there's no limit as to how good you can be at science. So what do you do? If you find there's a problem you don't know how to solve, you just keep on trying. If you have a fixed mindset, then you believe that your intelligence is fixed and there's a limit so that you won't try as hard. When it comes to a growth mindset, therefore, and you're learning, you will learn much, much more than if you have a fixed mindset. That's why we're learning all about the importance of having a growth mindset to help you become an even better learner. As part of your learning today, then, we're going to begin looking at these statements, which compare a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. Then, once you've done that, you're going to watch for video clips. And while you're watching these clips, be thinking about whether the characters in these video clips have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset. And after watching the video, you can look at this table to see which characters were in fact demonstrating growth mindset and which characters were in fact demonstrating that fixed mindset. Just grab a piece of paper Write down for yourself why you think these particular characters were demonstrating one of the two mindsets, and then you can check for yourself the answers on the following slide. Now, finally, before beginning your main task, just be thinking about these different questions. One, how do people become more intelligent? Two, how does that relate to what we've learned about neurons? Three, how are our brains like muscles? Four, how do our brains grow the most? After having done these reflection activities, you'll then be ready for today's main task in which you'll open and complete the accompanying assignment in Google Classroom. In your own words, you'll need to write down a definition for growth mindset and a definition for fixed mindset. You will then complete a table rewriting fixed mindset comments as growth mindset comments. Finally, you will then write down five of your own examples of having a fixed mindset or having a growth mindset. All that said, the concept of a growth mindset is the most valuable thing you can learn to develop to become a better learner.